Generic greetings, and welcome back to Prison Architect once again. In the previous episode, we got some prisoners and they proceeded to kick the crap out of each other. As you can see, Stephen Levers, 50, is currently inside a wall unconscious, and the perpetrator, the person who actually caused all that, is Mr. Tom Hancock, 47, prisoner number 149135, a legendary prisoner who has obviously got an estimated chance for reoffending of 97% with a horrible grading, and you can see in his character all of the traits he's got, which is a lot because he's a legendary prisoner. Either way, it was eventful, which is good. In this episode, we want to continue on, get more prisoners, and hopefully the prison won't burn down. Let's go to our reports and over to grants. We're going to get a prison manufacturing facility. We'll never build it, but we'll take the grant money because we like that way. And that will allow us, hopefully, to go over to Quick Build. Or, uh, yeah, it's in um, Quick Build, Clone. And we'll clone all of this and get ourselves some more cells. I know there's been some... There's a bit of a point of contention with these... Uh, cells here, these ones at the end, people are not happy with the design and also the way this sticks out and it's got no purpose and stuff. Yes, I'm aware, it's just, I, I don't know what else I can do. All of these, I don't think I've ever made the perfect prison where there's been not one little fault. There's always been little bits like that um, where you've had a little problem. And what the hell's going on here? The, th this guy's injured and for some reason the guard is beating the living hell out of him. Do you know what it is? It's because the guard's pissed off. So they're just going to keep fighting him. Um, right, stop, please. <laughs> that is so strange. Actually, what I am going to go to do, uh, go to do, what I'm actually going to do, is place a guard in the infirmary and in the parole because I think we need to do that. We also probably need to place some more medical beds, which is what I will do right now. There we go. I don't want to spend any more though because we are short on the old cash. Uh, in terms of our programs, we're not running any, which is something we do want to resolve. I'm going to go for guard test certification. I'll start that. No, I won't because we don't have a classroom, that's right. Uh, spiritual Guidance 2 in the queue, I will start that off as well. Okay, apparently none of these I'll be able to start for some reason. Wow. I don't know what's up with that. It's not allowing me to start any of these. And it's definitely not in the scheduler. So that's, that's a thing now, apparently. Wow, why has that happened? I don't know why. Hang on. Have I got my... Um... No, the chapel is definitely open. The chapel's open to everybody. That's fine. Just for some reason, we don't have the ability to access it. I, I don't know why that is. You know what? I'll worry about it later. Let's just continue on. Max speed here. And shakedown. Because why not? We're currently on free fire. And I'll be honest, I'm going to keep it on free fire. I think that is the way to do it in this facility. The thing is, having all of these prisoners, and obviously they're all very violent, most of them I guess will be violent offenders, um, very, very high risk naturally, um, putting them in an environment that just reinforces that, as in armed guards, snipers, always on free fire, dogs, and beatdowns, that won't fix the problem. If anything... At best, it simply maintains the current status quo. It doesn't reduce it. Hey, go look. Straight away, though, we did go in and that guy started writing and that guy shot into the wall, I think. And he stopped writing, which is all good. Very, very uh, high danger point here. It's, oh, it's increasing. Uh, prisoners have serious complaints. We'll have a look what those complaints are. Um, needs. Warmth need. Ah, yes. I said right at the beginning that this was going to be a problem. Oh, hang on. What's happening here? Uh, Nicholas Such, or Souk, or however you pronounce that, age 37, is currently destroying something. And can you see the sniper line? There, that's a sniper line. Oh, whoa, bloody hell. That is a good sniper. He's managing to shoot through two towers. And he disappeared. He's in there batting stuff in. That's not going to go well for him if he comes out with there. Let's, let's get this guard in. Hang on. Uh, they're walking really slowly because of the floor. I need to solve that. I need to solve that problem. Sooner, sooner rather than later. Uh, concrete tiles. Um, you know what? Do I have concrete tiles everywhere? I don't know. I don't know where to have concrete towels. 
I think we're going to go for metal inside here. Oh, there we go. There's some fighting. I'm going to I'm going to tell the guard to walk out though. Come on. Nah, he's not going to turn around, is he? I was going to turn him around and um Oh, hang on. This is going to go this is going to be wrong. Uh, I was going to turn around so the sniper's got him, but what's happened is he's sort of beat the guy down and he's unconscious now there. And uh, he's pissed off, but I reckon if I unpause it, he's not going to stop. Nope, he's going to kill him. Oh, hang on. Ooh. Only just restrained himself. Only just. <laughs> Bloody hell's bells. Right, so in terms of the shower, it is still a cold shower and we're not fixing that. So maybe it's best if we do do something like that. I think we are going to have to put radiators in. As much as I would love to say this place is just going to be freezing all the time, um, I think it's going to cause so many issues. So perhaps not the way to go. But we'll place flooring in so we can actually walk around at reasonable pace. Uh, we'll prioritise that, in fact, and then go to hot water and then um, do all of this. Where else is hot water required? It is it is required around here. We've just never placed it, which is an issue. So what I'll do is do that. Now, whether or not it'll get that way, all that way, I really don't know. Let's see how it is. See what happens. So I'll prioritise that. They're going to go and fix that. And then... God, there's more fighting elsewhere. And then we should be able to do that. We'll see if that fixes it. So. Um, that guy's injured. How many people are back in their cells? I'm guessing quite a bit. Here's some more prisoners. And bloody hell, that guy's a... He's a beast! Look at the size of him. James Bolton, 26. He's twice the size of, like, another prisoner. And he is a gang member. Unknown reputation, but clearly is a gang member. Let's just have a quick check in our intelligence. And yes, he is a gang member. Informants. Yeah, we have our that guy there. Well, we'll, we'll just make sure that he is uh, Supermax because all of our gang members got Supermax. I did it so it was easier to look at, but actually it's it's actually harder to look at in some cases. Um, that outside flooring, I quite like. I do quite like that. That's okay. Might have to do the outside here as well. Perhaps that would make the... Well, it would definitely would make them walk faster, so I think that's what we'll do. We'll make sure we get that sorted. There we are. And... Where would I put radiators? Where would I put radiators in this? Because this is outside, so... Oh, there's more fighting. Where's the fighting? Oh, it's, um... Paul Venny, 40, is... carrying something. Scissors, by the look of it. And he's been knocked out. There we go. All right. It's just, it's just the prison's still settling. That's all this is. The prison is the prison is still settling. Uh, right, so <laughs> we need to go over to staff and oh, I was going to say get some more armed guards, but we can't because we don't have the guard lockers. Now we do. There we are. Still losing a lot of money, so we do need to get. The problem is, the more prisoners I get, the more problems I'm causing. <laughs> Oh, well. Uh, let's just check to make sure the hot water goes all the way down to there. It does. Yeah, the, water, the hot water does go quite far, doesn't it? Well, that's fine. Then this should be all sorted. So at least we have some hot water there. Then we'll have to put radiators in, but I don't really know where to put them. I'm thinking there, there, there and there. Whether or not it runs from that point up and around, I do not know, though. And, oh, yes, that's going to... That Yeah, that's really hitting the... Uh, Hitting the warmth need, isn't it? All of that, which you would expect. So, it's still middling. That's okay. Uh, it's not too bad. I don't know whether to remove these doors off the shower, you know, because we might get better line of sight. In fact, what we could do is actually go for a large window. And it's a bit iffy putting massive windows on the shower, but to be honest with you, um, I don't think it much matters. Not because I think I don't think the prisoners have many uh, has I don't think they have a lot of privacy anyway. So yeah, I don't think I think that's okay. I could even put windows on all the way around all the way around here if I wanted to, but no, I don't think I will. Danger levels flying down. I'm guessing there's a little bit of heat somewhere. 
No, no, they're just fulfilling needs. We are going to do a full shakedown. Actually, we'll do it when it's at night time. Uh, currently, this is free time, so they're uh, happily you know, wandering around and things like that. I haven't seen visitation used yet, but uh, I'm going to keep an eye on it and for next, for the next day. There's the windows in the shower, so we can see inside. So if some, if someone's fighting, we can see that quite easily. We'll go to our staff here, and we'll get another armed guard because we do need some more. Um, there we go. Only just managed to fulfill all of that. So we've got six grand uh, left to really get more prisoners. So I guess we'll continue on. So it is quick build, cloning. We're going to clone this. And... It is essentially just going to... Oh, do we want to make this mirrored? Do we want this mirrored on this one? Yeah, we probably do. So I'll put that and that in. And I'll do both sides so then we can just clone it. So I'll make the standard template. Which is that, essentially. There we are. And now we'll do a shakedown. So looking out for... Looking out for mainly tunnels. Obviously, the dogs are patrolling. We haven't yet found anything, but that doesn't mean to say there's not one there. There's some fighting straight away. That's our legendary prisoner once more. But he has been knocked unconscious. I say knocked unconscious. There's three shotgun shells on the floor. So, God, that was another one. Unconscious only just. Look at that. Tell you what, it's brutal around here, isn't it? It really is. <laughs> I mean, he did a nice thing for us by kicking the toilet to bits because that's then flooded the area with water and that's going to wash his blood off the wall, which is, you know, makes it easier for us, doesn't it? Go over to rooms, over to cells, and put them in there, like so. Then we'll go ahead and sort that out. I think the flooring, as I said, is going to be metal flooring. I think that's the way to go. Do need to fix this corner, though, <laughs> which is... Currently, it doesn't have a purpose, as I said. I'm thinking of just making the cells a bit bigger. Making the cells a bit bigger and just calling it there. We could even, if we wanted to, uh, we could even, like, have a little bit more solitary. Oh, no, we can't because there's no entrance where There wouldn't be an entrance where because it would have to be solitary wall, and then, yeah, there wouldn't be any way in. Okay. Uh, danger level is right up to the max, and, uh, yeah, it's the warmth need. We need to fix that. We need to do that sooner rather than later. Prisoners are... The only reason they are not kicking the crap out of each other is simply because they are under a massive amount of suppression. There's another one. <sighs> Bloody hell. They are putting their hands up, though. Right, let's sort this out. So, object, radiator, and I want to put a radiator... Probably... I probably want to stagger it there and there. There and there. That should hopefully... Actually, if we put it on the opposite side as well. Hopefully be enough. Let's see. There's another death. Where's that at? In there. Wow, okay. Um, it looks like this guy, the beast, Adam Luther. Uh, strangely, no reason for him to do this. He's writing, though. Wow, he's taking that area over. Oh, okay. Um, armed guard, please. Who's currently pissed off, which is just what you need. Why is he pissed off? Food need again. Don't say there's run out of food trays. Oh, friggin' hell, they have. Happy days. Right. We might have to sort that out. I'm trying to get the armed guard down, but it's taking ages. No, oh, there's a visitor. Yeah, that guy's just writing down the bottom, isn't he? I wouldn't go in there, mate. It's going to be a bit ropey. Oh, we have a Featherstone. Gareth Featherstone. I missed him last episode. Huh. Let's have a quick look. Featherstone. Prisoner number 148682. Multiple crimes including grievous body harm and assaulting an officer. Uh, and now that's... Yeah, that's been he's been murdered and that guy's just been taken out. Job done there. Danger level going down now. Yay. Right, so 
In terms of our heating, we will run it. Strangely, that doesn't seem to be what like have heat to it, which is I don't know why. Um, will that be sufficient? Doing that, even though it's a, a lot of pipe work that we don't really need, actually. Yeah, we could just do that and that, because we'll have the same down the bottom. That should be that should be able to go that far. I mean, this one can. So there should be no reason why that one can't. Danger level is completely maxed. I've never seen that like that and not have the prison burn down. It's the warmth need. And there's a lot of warmth need in, well, everywhere, really. I don't know where. Eight degrees. What, what time is it? Oh, it's autumn. So it's not even, it's not even like winter yet to be really, really, really cold. Let's just have a quick look at temperature and you can see that oh yeah yeah that does nothing because that's outside it does absolutely nothing wow okay i knew that was going to cause us some issues i didn't know it was going to be that much of an issue right okay things are going to have to change then we are going to have to completely redesign the heating system in here and it's going to be a bit of a nightmare, so let's not mourn about it. Let's just get on with it, because otherwise we will be here all day. Yeah, this is a massive re- this is huge. Um, I'm not underestimating just how much work this is going to be, but- ooh, Actually, we cancel that. We don't want to come. We want to stop that. I'm dismantling all of the extra utilities that we just don't need. Um, cancel that. And- Get rid of all of that. These radiators we will dismantle. What we're going to have to do is put in separate radiators in each room. The only other solution... There's two solutions, actually. The first is to simply not bother. <laughs> that is, believe it or not, a solution. And just deal with it. And make sure we heat up the main area. So you're cold at night, then you can get warm in the shower and elsewhere. That's a possibility. The other possibility is, um, essentially, we go about the go with perhaps putting radiators in every individual cell. Okay, I'm going to try the first rather than the second. I'm going to try heating up things in here first. I think that's the better solution. Uh, we're going to put a water boiler in the. No, we're not. We've got nowhere near enough money. Ah, that's an issue. Right. So we can't get any more prisoners. Or we will get one more prisoner. But we're losing so much money per day that there's not much we can do about it. Oh, yep, yeah, that's some fighting going on there. Um, don't know if you can hear. Let's get the armed guard up. Yeah, right, mate. Um, that guy likes. He really does like fighting, doesn't he? Not anymore. Uh. Yeah, that happened. Wow, that was fairly brutal. <laughs> right, fine. Uh, I think at some point we really do need to go and um, get ourselves a lawyer and probably go for uh, uh <laughs> probably legal prep <laughs> at some point. I think I'm gonna need it. Anyway, how are we gonna fix the issue? Well, with no cash, we can't fix the issue. What is our maximum loan amount? Pretty much nothing. Our loan is pretty much nothing. Can we start programs, by the way? Uh, we can't start prog. I don't know why. But the programs won't run. Oh, it's because we haven't got any work time, of course. Now we can. There we go. It was a work time thing. Okay. Yeah, because programs classes work for some reason. There you go. At least that's fixed. Right, so we've got enough money to... Oh, I don't know what the solution is on this one. Genuinely think just as many cells as possible. And then that gives us more prisoners, which in turn... Gives us more money for their intake. 
Yep, that's probably the only solution. In terms of the heating issue, though, I'm going to go with the with what I mentioned earlier of heating up this main building, and the prisoners will have to put up with being cold at night. If that doesn't work, what it means is putting a radiator pretty much at the foot of every bed around the entire area. Actually, there's another there's another solution, and it's probably the more sensible one, and that's to uh, completely enclose this entire area, but then we won't be able to have the guard towers, which completely removes the whole idea of what we want to accomplish in the first place. Maybe it was a bad idea from the get-go, who knows? But this has been interesting, if nothing else, at least from my point of view. I don't know about yourself, but either way, we've never done something like this, and it is rough. Really rough. But anyway... Uh, could we pare down some staff? Do we need all of the staff? Well, yeah, we sort of do. Actually, at the moment, no, we don't, but 20 guards is pretty much what we need anyway once we've got all the prisoners. Maybe even need a little bit more. Arm guards is fine as well. So, one, two, three, four, five, and I've got eight in total. Is that right? Yes. So... Really? That is about right, yeah, for the armed guards. What I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to, I'm going to change the patrols slightly. I'm going to, I'm going to essentially increase the patrols along to the end. Like that. I can hardly see where the planning is. Oh, there's another death. Hang on. I need to probably deal with this. Say deal with it. There's nothing I can do. It's happened. Um, I don't think I need one, two, three. Four. I don't think I need eight. There we go. Right. So death recently. It says. Um, <gasps> Tom Hancock died, killed by a sniper with a rifle. Oh well. Uh, fine. I guess. He's a legendary prisoner. Well, he was a legendary prisoner. He's now dead. That didn't take long for him to go. Shows you just how... Um, uncooperative, shall we say, these prisoners can be. It also shows you just how ruthless the place is. I mean, we can deal with the odd fight. Why are they... Oh, that guy's shouting for alcohol. I don't think there's any contraband that can be snuck in here. There's another unconscious guy. At least the visit the visitation's being used. Look, you see they're talking to their lawyer. Hmm. Right, well, I think I'm going to leave it there. Mainly because I've got no cash and there's no way for me to get cash. Uh, oh, there is actually. What what happens is once these cells are done, uh, we're, we're increasing our capacity, as you can see, and we're going to get five... We're going to get five grand, but we're spending five grand anyway, dear. We're now going to get seven grand, but we're spending five grand. So, yes, the prison is in the tank at the moment. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of money into the game because, as I said, this is more about the idea of what we're trying to accomplish rather than survival of uh, surviving as a prison for um, like making profit, essentially. But, those are not mutually exclusive, really. If I was a bit more sensible with my wall building, we wasted a lot of money with the walls. We probably wouldn't be in the state. Also, I've done some of the things the wrong way around. It's just, uh, yeah. After not playing it for a couple of months, you make these little mistakes, and then they add up to what we have now, which is essentially a failure state. I mean, I can't progress on any further. Um, there is ways out of this one, but it's not nice. Uh, you could essentially... Uh, not look after the rest of the prisoners and when you you know you, you need turnover of prisoners and the only way to do that is by getting the guards to um, forcibly remove some of the prisoners intestines via the application of shotgun and uh, then you make them go out and then you bring more prisoners in and you get money from them turning up which is a really horrible thing so we're not going to go down that route either way next episode we will uh, finish off this cell block and get more prisoners and then work on our heating system because 
We need to. Really regret putting the temperature and weather on. I was very, very, uh, well, you probably were aware because if you watched the first episode that I was hesitant to put it on in the first place. And I thought, no, you know, we'll go for it. And then I regretted that decision immediately. Also regretting the decision with um, the staff canteen because it's just still buggy. Look, they're still, they're pissed off because they can't get any food and the serving trays are not there. Arrgh, why is that still a thing? Anyway, next episode we'll progress on and hopefully not die. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.